Shut up and sit down. Hi everybody! It's David and Alexis with Financial Phoenix and we are here today to give you a little vlog update on us and Doug. Hi Doug. He wanted to be in the video. Um, we just wanted to say hi. Sorry about my voice. I'm a little nasally still. I've been sick for a couple days now. I do not have coronavirus. So there you go. Um, we were a little bit scared for a minute. Uh, I did start to get a fever. Uh, we called the COVID-19 hotline and talked to them about it. And they said, as long as the fever breaks within 24 hours, you don't need to go get tested or anything. So, uh, I've been here. It did break. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better, but, uh, that's why we've been off for a little bit. We just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, we haven't forgotten about deals and things like that, but, uh, we've been trying to heal up and get well. Um, we have kid free time. For we a have kid free time. Also, uh, the boys are with their mom for the next three weeks or so at least um, because of the I don't know if you guys know, we live in Ohio and Ohio instituted the uh, what, what are they calling it? Like the extended spring break. Yeah, they added three weeks in front of the spring break that was supposed to already happen. Yes, so three extra weeks, <laughs> and we decided it was probably best if they stay with their mom and, and reduce the back and forth that happens. So uh, we're kind of kid-free here, which is a little bit lonely, but... Yeah, it's we, a little weird. We are getting... Uh, well, we're going to be getting some, some things done, so I'll let you take it from there. So, uh, one of the things that we wanted to address in this video is how this situation affects us financially, uh, since that's really the main premise of our channel is uh, attaining financial freedom and saving and being thrifty. Uh, so there are a couple of ways that that's affected us. Uh, the first thing that's pretty jarring is uh, Amazon has suspended receiving shipments from their fulfilled by Amazon system, which is how we sell pretty much everything, all our books. Um, they won't take any shipments that were created after yesterday. So as of today, if the shipment hasn't already been created, you can't send a new one in. Um, what, you know, that means that we're gonna have to get a little more creative. We're gonna have to merchant fulfill some items, which means we're gonna have to send them from our home to the customer instead of through Amazon's warehouse. Um, which is a little bit of a pain, but I already have the books here, so we, we'll make that work. Um, we'll look into other avenues as well. Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, the whole deal. Um, it is going to affect Alexis as well when it comes to her couponing and the in-store filming uh, that you guys really seem to like. That seems to be the, the video that gets the most attention each week is when she goes in-store. Um, obviously, for health and safety reasons, you know, that's something that's going to be impacted by this situation. Um, I'm not sure, you know, exactly what the plan is. I know we're going to go into that in a little bit, but it definitely does have an impact on, on the way the channel progresses, which is kind of why we took a bit of a break. Uh, and then my quote-unquote day job is also impacted by this as well. Um, so... Our primary businesses are the, the YouTube channel and then the Amazon business. However, I do also have a position with the U.S. Census Bureau that I've had for several months. Um, it's a really good side side hustle. So if you are trying to transition to make your side hustle your main job, that could be a good thing to do along with your side hustle so you have a full-time income. It does pay really well. Um, however, my position is recruiting and so I have to go out to job fairs and go to businesses and things like that and talk to people about the job openings. And, uh, you know, when everything is closed and nobody has their businesses open for, for sit down customers, uh, it makes it a lot harder to do what we do. Plus, you know, we can't really go, you know, do door to door recruiting or anything like that. People really don't want to open their door to anybody, expose themselves to any additional risks. So, uh, it's certainly impacting those hours as well. 
So financially, this is going to be a little bit of a hit for us for at least a few weeks. Hopefully not too much longer than that, but who knows at this point. It's still kind of up in the air in terms of uh, health and safety and how things are going to go. But we are working through it. We uh, A couple things that I wanted to tell you guys that we are doing. We're starting to work through what's called our death pile. So that's like the items that... It's like the items that you accumulate when you become a reseller uh, that don't sell or haven't sold or you never got listed or something. Just stuff around your house that you've been meaning to put up or hasn't been put up or whatever on eBay or Amazon, whatever your platform happens to be. So uh, we'll be working through that. We'll be looking at our stockpile and seeing you know, what items we could sell either on eBay or in bundles and things like that. Um, you know just to make some extra cash in the meantime we're also working on cutting costs where we can whether that's with electricity or uh with just utilizing stuff in our stockpile i know as couponers sometimes we get so used to spending money week to week on coupon stuff that we forget we have a whole stockpile of things that we could be using so so using that kind of stuff too yeah it's funny how many people want to talk to us now that they know we have toilet paper we're really popular all of a sudden <laughs> Um, so there are some other impacts that we have to deal with besides the financial things. And, and that's pretty common to everybody who's kind of dealing with this. Um, you know, you get the cabin fever, you want to get out and do things. Um, you feel like you're just at home all the time. You get kind of lethargic and tired. I felt that pretty hard yesterday. I didn't want to do anything. And uh, there's a real feeling of isolation that goes along with that too. Um, you know, social distancing means that uh, you're not gonna have much socialization unless it's, you know, online or something like that. Um, so there are some things that we can do to deal with that. Some of the things that we're going to start putting into place now that I'm getting a little bit healthier are more movement every day. We're just going to be exercising, taking some walks around our neighborhood, um, you know, getting out in nature a little bit just to kind of get out the cabin fever, feel the outdoors. Uh, since it is starting to get a little bit nicer outside, today was kind of rainy, but uh, overall, it's not as cold as it has been. We're also going to be trying to be productive. We're making a list of goals and things that we want to accomplish during this time where we're kind of self-quarantining, um, you know, as much as possible. So we're going to put a list together of projects that have uh, taken us some time that we haven't gotten to. So uh, things around the house, some organizing projects, especially since the boys aren't here. I know you're very looking forward to that. Super fan of organizing. Super fan of organizing. Um, just some different things that we don't get a chance to do very often. I'm going to work on writing some chapters in my book. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Using tools like daily meditation and things like that to uh, feel a sense of gratitude for mm -hmm. the things that you have uh yeah so and another thing that's important it, to us is keeping in touch with family and friends uh luckily we do live in a digital age so it makes things a little bit easier um it would have been a lot harder you know years and years ago but we have the benefits all this technology facetiming and things like that skyping um you know take full advantage of that it might seem like a pain in the rear to, you know, walk my mom through learning how to Skype. You know, it'll probably be a 45 minute lesson, but uh, you know, once I get through that and she's able to chat with us, you know, we'll, we'll feel better having made that connection. Um, so I guess now I set it on camera, I actually have to call her and teach her how to use Skype. So, great. Uh, I kind of paint myself into a corner on that one. Um, but yeah, we just want to stay connected. We want to, make sure that we are stay active and that we are doing all the things that we need to do take your vitamins get your vitamin d mm -hmm. wash your hands wash wash them wash, wash them. your hands um so just do all the things you need to do uh we do want to thank you for watching and and sticking by the channel i know we were away for a little bit so thanks for hanging in there um, again, stay safe. Make sure you're following all the CDC uh, recommendations, including washing the hands like we talked about. It's not a time to panic. No, it's not. It's not about panicking. It's just about treating, you know, the situation with respect, treating the people around you with respect, and making sure we don't overwhelm the healthcare system because 
Uh, they're already going to be in for quite a quite a massive workload as it is. Uh, we will be getting back to more of kind of our normalcy, kind of our normal mode. Uh, so check back tomorrow. We're going to have a new video up, and we're going to kind of get the ball rolling back to the way it was uh, before this, you know, kind of took us out of commission for a few days. So thanks again for watching. You know, like and share, and then you know, check back in with us. Tell them bye, Nug. Bye. You know, little pain in the rear. Wash your paws. Wash your paws.